Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay. Hey there. Stop. Hey. Hey there. We're. Come on. <laughs> that was really bad. I know it was bad, but I didn't know what to do. Ooh. All right. We're training him on the welcome. So this is my welcome to you guys. Uh, this is the engine video. I'll let you take over because you're going to be doing a lot of the main engine tear and part. Right. So sounds good. Nicely done. Thank you. <laughs> we can they see? They can see that, right? Yep. Okay. Now you can if I stand out of your way. So we have an engine stand coming for this. It's not going to be here for a few more days, uh, but we're going to go ahead and pull the top end off of this and just take a look at the piston and uh, take a look at the head, and we won't be breaking into the bottom end until we get that engine stand. Let's dive into the engine. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, we're gonna jump in here and we're gonna start by removing the timing chain tensioner. Uh, I know I'm gonna have to remove this once I get the valve cover off uh, to remove the timing chain, so I'm gonna take care of it right now. and take the uh, valve cover off there. Okay, I'm gonna remove that valve cover off there. Take that gasket out of the way. What size we got there? Okay, I'm just going to break each one of these loose and then take them off. And you'll see they have this little uh, keeper inside there. And I, I guess it's probably not called a keeper, but it basically keeps it lined up with the bearing. If you look at there's a, bear, a groove in the bearing, and then it has the groove there. Um, and there are these inserts, so make sure you don't lose those inserts. Sometimes they'll stay in the head. Uh, and these are labeled right, and it shows the, which way is the, the arrow goes in. Okay, we'll take this other one off. See that fell? This is that keeper I was saying. And I'm just gonna put that in there so I don't lose it because I will lose it. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I need to remove this chain, the, the timing chain. And what you do, you see this will move. This bearing will slide. I'm gonna slide it that way, it lets it drop. You see that? And then I can just put that off. Now, if you were just changing the cam or the anything up on top end, you would want to wire this or do something so you don't drop it down there. I'm not too concerned about that since we're tearing it completely down. All right, so there went the tightening chain. Now you have your uh, valves underneath these here. You've got your exhaust valves and your intakes, and these have these little caps on them. You can take a magnet uh, and to remove them. So see here, I'm going to take a magnet to remove these. So if someone shims their valves, you will see it right there under these keepers, okay? So we'll take this one off and see this has got shims. I'm gonna just remove these so they don't drop out of there. Okay, you'll notice what I did is I, I traced out the head. Just I just wanna, I like to put things back the way I found them, especially if I'm gonna reuse any of the caps um, and or the cam because they're, they're riding on those. So I just marked the intakes and the exhaust. If I, so when I actually take the motor apart and take the head off, I'm gonna pull the valves out and that way I can also, I'll sketch it out and sh show which valve went where in case I reuse anything. Okay, for this portion, I'm gonna remove the head now. This is where the engine stand would be nice. What you're gonna see, I'm gonna crisscross as I take these off. I do that with a auto head, uh, automotive head. I, I take them off in a certain way and loosen them just so that I, I can take them up evenly. 
This is why I do the motor work because it takes a lot of strength and Aiden does the polishing. So when you're taking these off, if you were just doing a top end, be careful not to drop things down in there because then you're gonna end up doing more maybe. Always good to have a magnet. Okay, some of these have washers on them too, so you don't drop them down in the, like again, if you're only doing the top end. So now there's gonna be these here. Uh, should just be those two. Okay, so this should just lift off. Sometimes you gotta tap it a little bit. But this one is just coming off easy, I hate because I brought the hammer in case. Just been trying to be really careful with those uh, bolts and this was catching a little bit. Alright, there is your head, your intake, exhaust valves, your rocker for that because your cam lines here um, and if you look at the bottom there's some water in there um, pretty I don't see anything major on this but we won't know until we take those valves out and see how the seats are or guides and everything in there okay so now I'm gonna take this bolt here and uh, I think there's just that, yeah, it's just that one. And then we're gonna pop the bore out of there. I do want you to notice one thing on these, see these guides in here? Uh, it looks like two of them stayed with the head and there's two on here. So just don't forget about those. And I'm thinking I am gonna have to take a hammer for to this. Oh, no, look at that. It's gonna come right easy. Okay, so here's your bore. Um, what we want to look for is any scoring. Um, you can actually really see the hone marks in that, which are that's that's surprising to me. There's a little bit of scratches on the side there. Um, oh, well, there you go. Did you see that? Okay, one thing you want to look at on any piston, so something's been happening here. Um, and if you look at the piston itself, if you look at, well, look at that, the piston's broke. And uh, with that being broken, if you look at this side, that's the way it should look. And look at the wear that has it. So this, this actually is good that we're rebuilding this because this is a problem. And that, look, you can, I don't know if you can see that really good with the light under there, but it's just completely broke off there. All right, so that's, uh, I will tell you what, uh, what it, it's really actually satisfying when you take apart a motor and you actually find something wrong. Uh, this motor, because this was Aiden's bike, it was making a noise that we didn't like, and that's kind of what prompted us to rebuild it anyways. But we were thinking about just doing top end. We may be able to, but I, I wouldn't now, after seeing this with a part of that piston broke off, it's most likely in the bottom of the motor, uh, and it could have damaged something else. So anyway, so it's satisfying to know that, hey, we actually are finding a problem here. Okay, there is the top end teardown. As you see, that did not take very long. I know Aiden will probably time lapse and move some of this around, but in all reality, if we weren't filming and doing that, I could have had that apart in 15 minutes. Um, as long as you know just a few of those basics of getting that timing chain off of there uh, and a few little things like that. And we did find a problem, as you saw, so that's, uh, we'll get that remedied. And uh, we're gonna do a complete rebuild on the motor. So coming up next, uh, when I get my engine stand, we are going to do the bottom end and we'll see what the bottom end looks like. With that, I guess we're good to go. Rock on and see you next time.